Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here with Bish's RV with I, I think the smallest and lightest of the North Trails and it is a fantastic solo or couples camper with a few really surprising twists. This is the 21 RBSS. It's barely, uh, what, 4,670 pounds or something like that. It is very lightweight. It is an ideal fit for a bigger SUV with the solid tow package or uh, obviously like almost, almost any tow package half ton. Uh, the wide stance axles also really help this thing tow and go easier. And frankly, this is the smallest RV I think I've ever seen with those wide stance axles. If you're not really familiar with those, basically when the axles are spread further apart, it helps the RV not wiggle and jiggle so much. So if you're really looking for a comfortable tow experience, uh, this is one that could really deliver. It has a few really shocking features though. Like this has a 72 by 80 king bed. Like a real king that real sheets can actually fit or you could exchange it for something else if you wanted to. That is so hard to find in a small travel trailer. That right there is almost a game changer feature to me. Also, they have what I'm gonna call the Swiss Army sofa. So there's a lot of people who look at a little camper like this and there's a lot of people who build something like this where it's just a jackknife. Well, this can be a jackknife, but sometimes you wanna kick your feet up like a theater seat. This can do that. Or some people say, yeah, but what about uh, guest capacity? I want a big hide bed. This can do that. <laughs> it does it all. <laughs> it's really cool that way. Underbelly's enclosed and heated. It has a massive pass-through on this thing. Takes a lot to get me excited about literally air, but the pass-through on this is no joke. Um, even the deck under the bed is laminated. So that it's in, so like a cold day like today, if you got the furnace running, uh, if you're laying on bed, those baggage doors are not as thick as the extra thick side. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. We gotta get going, I've talked too much. There's a lot to cover here. Okay, I had to take a breath. I was getting all jazzed up over there. Um, I'm not even caffeinated. I just, I just got excited about this thing. That is awesome, okay. I like to try to be fair. Um, I wanna point out a couple things. Uh, this RV, one area where I do think this RV is a little bit lacking is it has like nothing really in the way of solar. If you're gonna be a park camper, that's kind of fine. If you're looking for boondocking stuff, you're going to have to give us a call to see what kind of upfit options we could provide for you. All right, I got myself back centered. Let's jump inside here. By the way, you're going to see some of the footage is indoors where it's nice and warm and some of the footage right now is where it's not nice and warm. Where this was parked where it was inside nice and warm, I couldn't get around the outside of it. So I had to wait till it came back outside where it's freezing. Hope you appreciate that kind of dedication. So when everybody and their brother, when you see, like you, you identify the floor plan you like, but you're trying to figure out why, I mean, why would I buy A versus B versus C? There's, they, they're all going to have their little things. What I want to show you on these are a couple of the key differences that I see in a North Trail that are hard to find on a layout like this. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let's talk construction. We have laminated double vaulted roof. So if you want to get up here and just be aggressive with that, there's no way I'm going to hurt that thing with my chicken arms and my lady fingers. One of the main exceptionally uncommon things though is a true two inch laminated sidewall and they're using Asdell under the fiberglass. So it's thicker, ironically, thicker laminated wall sound structure. It, it Skeletal structure is exactly the same as an inch and a half wall. Um, I, I don't know that I can verbally explain how that works out here, but I have a separate video on that. If you're curious, drop me a note now. I'll, I'll try to dig it up and send you a link to it directly. But the, the two inch sidewalls are very uncommon. One of the other things that is unbelievably uncommon here is that king bed. That is 72 by 80 inches. And they also have a very aggressive pass through. So the benefit here is we're getting a huge bed. Now, Notice how they pushed the side stand, though the side closets, uh, they squished them down a little bit. So you've lost a little storage there, but you've gained bed space. I do like how they radiused that edge right there so you don't really have a big sharp corner. And because they have what they call the King Kong storage, you do not have a lot of room to walk around the bed. So it's a king bed. You can get a real king mattress and king sheets that fit it. You are pretty much climbing into the bed, however. So. That's what I mean when I say, I wanna give you the good, the bad, with the ugly, with everything in between. I want to arm you to understand what you're getting when you purchase this RV and what you're not, so that uh, you know you don't get it home with false expectations. 
Um, we are carpetless, we're ventless, we are easy cleaning. That's an awesome uh, one-two punch combo. This is also a 5 8 tongue groove plywood floor deck, not laminated, so you don't ever have to worry about, you know, maybe developing a soft spot or anything in there. Now, this sofa is very uncommon in a layout like this. And what's interesting about this floor plan, the way that they've accomplished that, it kind of bleeds in between. It almost meshes some of the features of a Rockwood 2109 with a Rockwood 2205 with a Cougar 22 RBS. And all of those numbers probably mean nothing to you. So what I will do is leave links to the full video tours of those in the description so you can learn a little bit more about them. Now, down below, they have their little easy quick storage kind of thing. Basically, if you just want it, it's a glorified shoe garage. And I know that sounds super trashy when I say it like that, but uh, calling a, a spade a spade, that's what it is. It's a great little place to kick your shoes off. Um, household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Most North Trails come with a 50-inch TV that would not fit up here. So on this one, they let you pick your own adventure. Um, and now, if you like everything about this RV, but you're like, listen, guy, before I take this home, it better have a TV installed on it. Other, I mean, no TV, no sale. If that's how you feel, give us a call. I'm sure we can find a TV. I'm sure we can find a mounting bracket that works. Um, you know what I haven't done? I haven't lifted up the bed to see what's under there. Let's check that out. Now, what I discovered here is it doesn't have gas threats to lift the bed up. And at first I was like, that is super lame. But then I realized there's a way around this. Just lift the mattress up, flip up the wood flap, and there you go. Now, normally you wouldn't have the plastic packaging off the mattress anyway, but it's not real hard. You're not heaving the entire mattress up. And if the only thing you need, kind of like I said, if you need a TV mount, if you need a couple gas threats, if these little things are the only things stopping you, give us a call. This is stuff that we can accomplish. But it creates like a second trunk here with your little shoe garage down below. Now, here's our view from the bed. Oh, actually, I just realized central aired a little trailer like this. Not everybody does that. That's a nice little thing. But here's the view from the bed. I've kept my shoes off the end of the bed. So I'm not all the way up at the headboard. It is 80 inches long. Um, but I had concerns wondering, is my head going to clear that big overhead cabinet? But hey. I do my own stunts. <sighs> oh, this is probably going to hurt. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Well, the good news is basically all I'm clocking there. Yeah, you can see how much clearance I have here. All I'm clocking there is just a, a piece of thin wall board. So it's not like a hard impact. This would really suck if you hit this right here. Um, I'm just shooting you straight, telling you like it is. I guess my encouragement here is remember you are crawling in the bed a little bit. You're also crawling out of the bed a little bit. But name another trailer this size at this weight that gives us a 72 by 80 king bed. I hear a lot of people in the comment section constantly say, give us king beds. We can do it. Understand though, it comes with a couple interesting little caveats like this sometimes. Now looking around from here, we got kind of a little farmhousey, I think inspired interior without all the distressed cabinet accents i know some people don't really care for there what do you think of the backsplash on that i, I don't know i think it's kind of sharp um and something else i want to point out here because like if you glance you're like there's no outlets there is a set of outlets over there i don't know if there's any directly above the sink i'll try to get a better look at that when i get over there but for now let's crack open the kitchen storage I like that extra, like the two drawers under the big chunk of counter space on the left. That's a handy little thing right there. That is a smaller, say like 16 inch oven. If you're looking for a bigger oven, check out the Cougar, the Rockwood. Um, good space for a wastebasket too, which is something that I'm always on the prowl for. Um, then uh, over here, oh, look at that, down by the door. Handy dandy little shoe garage corner. Nice little touch. 12 volt DC compressor fridge standard back here, giving us a larger capacity. Travel safe, by the way. There is an eight cubic foot gas electric two-way option. Now over here, what you see is a convertible clantry, pantry, closet combo job. Now I've got it in closet mode right now, just to kind of showcase. I almost always show those things in pantry mode. I figured I'd flip it the other way around. All of our cabinetry is pocket screwed lumber core, by the way. It is not a uh, like an MDF particle board with a, uh, a a sticker wrap. It still has a sticker wrap, but it's not stapled. That's that's it's not a stapled faster. That's what I was getting to. Oops, I said I would check under here. I do not see outlets. So in terms of kitchen outlets, you got this guy 
and you got that guy. So kind of keep that in mind a little bit. I tell you what, though, one of the things I really like about this floor plan is what they did with the sofa. What have I told you? It is technically a jackknife sofa, but it's also kind of a recliner, and it's also kind of a big hide -a bed and it's also kind of a dinofa. Well, to demonstrate this, I've recruited the help of Mr. Andrew from one of our Kalispell, Montana sister stores who's hanging out with us today. Mr. Andrew, I can see you've already kicked your shoes off here. You've gotten comfortable. You wear nicer socks than I do, by the way. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're stuck inside on a rainy day, you feel like kicking your feet up, a lot of times small campers don't have a lot of options. What would you do in here? Well, I tell you, the first thing I do is I kick my feet up like this. Nice. Oh. So it's not a theater seat, mm -mm. but you can kick your feet up. You can get a little comfy. If you wanted to, maybe throw a little pillow under your feet if you're looking for a little, you know, cushion or something like that. Mm -hmm. But what if you get in trouble and you're in the doghouse? Where are you going to sleep tonight? Well, I tell you, I'm not sleeping outside. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what I am going to do is flip that down right there. Open this up. And then give us your best Burt Reynolds. Yeah, there we go. He did it. Centerfold. But wow, you even did the pose. Look at this guy. So if you appreciate the help of Mr. Andrew today, next time you're in the Montana area or you're looking at a North Trail, I think Andrew would appreciate if you gave him a call and he'd be happy to get you hooked up with one of these. Quick question though, Andrew. What is the square root of banana? Mm, I don't know. Me either. <laughs> And of course, as our viewer, Mr. Greg Homestead, originally coined the phrase, we have ourselves a floating fold-away Dinofa table right there. So, that one sofa, I'm going to call it a Swiss Army sofa, because I think it can do a little bit of everything. It has, uh, you know, obviously, normal sofa function. It has sleeper sofa function. It has a theater-ish function. I'm not going to call it a theater seat, but you can get your feet up. You can eat there on a rainy day. On a little trailer, having one object do two things is great. Having one object do four things is phenomenal. This bathroom looks really small, and it's certainly not the biggest. I actually found it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be by looking at it. Now, kind of like some of the other things, like they've nailed the big hitter items here. But if you want things like a porcelain toilet instead of the plastic toilet, that is simple, easy little stuff that we can accomplish for you. You know, just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Explain your needs and we can make little things happen. Uh, also, with the vaulted ceiling in here, the headroom's not bad. I'm about 6'3 for reference, by the way. But perhaps one of the best aspects of this floor plan is its function in road mode. You can easily walk through this thing. Now, I've got that table just up on the bed for transit purposes. Uh, for traveling, you might be able to kind of shove it in between the sofa and the slide wall. Um, it, like in a little pocket like that. You might want to put like a sheet over it and kind of secure it down. I'm not sure. And by the way, since this is a floor flush slide, you don't want to sit in that when the slide is not fully extended like it is right now. But whether it's uh, bathroom, uh, kitchen, all this stuff, this absolutely passes the turtle test you know a turtle being able to live inside its shell fully retracted this camper is turtle friendly the uh my feet uh have been warmer currently standing in a nice snow drift just to try to give you a good look at this thing but i think it's it's got some good curb appeal i like the way that painted nose cap and the decals kind of work in conjunction with one another. Um, I, I've seen a couple people looking at some pictures of one of these and said, man, you know, I'm afraid of it getting too hot with all the black coloration on there. When I look around at this RV, personally, I see white as a primary color, which should do uh, pretty well. Now, I wanted to do something to demonstrate uh, how big this compartment is. So I went inside and I got a couple of these like sandwich board kind of things and shoved them in here along with the grill and the little box that holds all the random doodads and loose widgets. And look at how big that thing is. It's got to be the biggest front passer I've ever seen in a lightweight trailer. Now you notice how it looks all really clean and nice and finished in here? That is because um that uh the, the decking under the bed which i think i started talking about this when the video started then i realized i was just like going on and on and on which i know i tend to do a lot um the uh that bed deck is a laminated 
bed deck. Aluminum framed, laminated, block foam, and insulated. And that's what I wanted to get at there. Because uh, one of the special qualities on this RV is it has a, a true two inch sidewall. So I, I'm not intentionally picking on anyone. Like that Freedom Express over there, uh, this Arctic Wolf over here, nearly every travel trailer with laminated walls has an inch and a half wall. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of fifth wheels have that. This is a true two inch sidewall, which really kind of harkens back to, I think the, the almost the DNA of Heartland. Heartland began as a big fifth wheel manufacturer and then they slowly scaled down into smaller trailers. Now that was many, many years ago, but that is the core DNA of Heartland. And sometimes it still kind of shows itself even all these years later where they're putting fifth wheel ideas into a travel trailer. But the baggage door is only about an inch. Well, inch thick as it were. So that bed deck is helping keep the interior of the RV, especially your sleeping space, more comfortable. 20 pound propane tanks are normal. And like I said, trying to be fair, you wanna know something this RV's not good at. It's not good at headroom uh, above the bed and it's not good at solar. It has a small little prep plug for a simple trickle charge portable panel which is better than nothing, but that is all it has. It does not have from the factory any sort of roof solar prep plug. It does not have uh, the ability to add from the factory any sort of solar package. So kind of keep those little things in mind. Uh, again, gonna shoot you straight. We are slide awning ready. And in case someone's curious, like what are these, um, what are these little black stripes on the sides of the slide? You ever see a wiper seal on an RV that doesn't totally flip in or out? Those basically, uh, this is a technical term, mind you, those are catchers. <laughs> those are little things that are just there to make sure those wiper seals flip in and out. We are uh, forced air heated underbelly, obviously enclosed. Power stabilizer jacks are all standard on these, which is actually kind of nice. So you got power tongue jack, power awning, power corner jacks. Everything is push button simple. This is a single sewer outlet camper right there. And you see how we have a, uh, you know, totally centralized hookup area. Now it's not an enclosed docking center as it were, but like all those hookups are in one handy uh, little spot, which is kind of cool. You may notice over here also, um, just past that, and maybe I'm biased, that awesome uh, Bish's RV tire cover, um, <laughs> little product placement right there. How about that? Anyway. On the right hand side of the bumper, there's that there's this big thing sitting right there. That is a grill mount. This RV includes a grill from the fact actually every single North Trail has some variety of outside cooker, whether it's a uh, a stove, a grill, a griddle, whatever the case may be, they all have some variety of outside cooker. Now, sometimes your greatest asset is your greatest liability. And in this case, that giant storage compartment, that big door, prevented them from putting an extended awning on here. In order to make the awning any longer, they would have had to either get rid of the bedroom window, which I don't want them to do, or they would have had to mess around with that monster storage compartment, which again, I don't want them to do. So when you're on a little camper and you got big features, kind of like that king bed, you gotta decide which one's more important. Uh, something's got to give somewhere and if those are deal breakers for you remember we have other things with a similar layout that could work for you but they all have that interesting different little combination of features and I am so loving getting the chance to show you all these different things on our channel now so that you have an even better idea of how true that really is so guys thank you very much uh, I know I got a little woo woo Ric Flair excited for a minute there woo but um I like this one. I think this is my favorite North Trail. It's the smallest, lightest, least expensive. Um, there's things in it that aren't perfect. The uh, the headbanger bed arrangement. You got to know what you're doing with it. It's not exactly ideal for everybody, and that might be a deal breaker for someone. That's why I want to point this stuff out. I really want you to know when you're watching these videos that I'm I'm trying to give you the best you know, like real world the example possible, not just like, boy, it's pretty and it's lightweight and you should buy. I, I want you to understand what this RV truly offers you and your family or just you alone or the couple of you or you and the dog. I don't know. However you're camping, I want you to know what you're getting before you spend a lot of money. And when you're ready, I, I hope you know there's a place here that you can trust 
uh, with that purchase. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Make sure you check the links in the video description for a couple other real similar layouts.